Okay, people. You'll have to excuse this. I'm going to try to do this, and I know it's probably going to fall over and make me want to say a few choice words. But let's see how this is looking. Okay, you're just above my torch. There's the torch tip. There you are. I won't be able to see anything you're saying because of where I have the camera. Wait a minute. Maybe I can see about doing a live in front of me too to find out where I'm at and see if I can see other people chatting. Give me a second. I am getting there. Be patient. Okay. I'm going to do a turtle love, which is something that I was just talking to uh, Robert and his wife about. Oh, there I am. I'm live. See if I can click on it and go to it. It might be a little odd for me because, um, yeah, it's looking like it's showing. There we are. I can see it. Uh, I won't know if I'll be able to hear or, 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 or do what, but I'm going to be doing the turtle love so that, uh, and show you what I'm talking about. I'm actually going to do it with some dicro too, so. I know it's the middle of the night, you know it's the middle of the night, but hey, that is what life's all about. And considering I work in the middle of the night most of the time, it's okay for me, okay? So, I've already did a couple of things real quick here. Um, you can see them right here on the table. I've got like a uh, unicorn, and I've got uh, a couple other things that I was working on, like some lighthouses and some dragonflies. So, here we go. First of all, I guess I need to get the uh, dichro going, the chip that I want to use. And what I usually do it is I just take a pair of wire cutters, hold it, nip it, the dichro. Ooh, that's a good si size, right? Here. Here we are. Film side up. Again, I won't be able to see if anybody's chatting or not, but uh, I'm going to try it this way. See what they, see how it goes. Oops. And here we go. Oops. That's me for you. So there's a little bit of a delay. There we go. Sorry about that, folks. Practice, practice. And this is my uh, national torch. So uh, I got it a week ago, Wednesday, last Wednesday. And I've been having fun with it on and off. Uh, the, the fine point flame I'm enjoying immensely compared to my Carlisle. Yes, it could give me a fine point flame if I was using hydrogen, because that's what the torch tip is for. But, I'll live with it, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and ump this a little bit so I can melt the glass a little faster. Oops. All right. Me and my big mouth here playing. I'll learn it. There we go. I'll leave it at that. Hey, Katie. You must be on your break. Or, no, this is your day off, isn't it? I finally saw you say hi or something there. Is this the first time you get a chance to see me live? And again, I can't type anything. Good for you. I'm glad you get some chat time off. I'm doing what I'm calling what I call a turtle love. And the reason being is that it's going to be a cross between a heart and a turtle. You'll see what I'm talking about when I finish or as we go on. I'm going to add some dichro sparkly glittery stuff to it. That's what's on the 
that that I just pressed into the bottom of this piece of glass. Now let's see what's a good color. Let's make it jade. The moss green. This is moss green. We're going to make it moss. I can't read everything. I should probably resize the, the lettering here so I can read it a little quicker. But at the moment, you have to sort of squint to see it. This isn't my normal torch either. This is my car lot. And this is this is what's called a national torch. Uh, I. This is the type of torch that I had before I had the Carlisle, and you've seen that bigger thing that I have. This is just a finer point flame, and it's a workhorse of a torch. I just had to had to have a habit. Now that is. Now this is basically I'm pressing the dichro in. I added some green glass to the bottom of this thing. And I'll try to talk my way through it, and again, I have to sort of squint to read what you're saying, so. And it may take me a while when I get into the thing. Okay, now I'm going to take this. This, where I'm pinching right now, is the very top of the sea turtle. Okay. Now I'm sort of heating up where that rod was, melting it in, and now it's looking pretty cool. You can see where the dichro is. Now this is giving me also an indication of where I'm going to be putting a few of the... I'm going to make right where I'm touching right now, the very top, or the, uh, not the top, but the very front of where the, the sea turtle is going and I'm going to be pinching off a little bit of this because most of it is, is not to the edge of the dichro. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. Pretty, pretty good stuff. That's to the edge of the dichro. And Now I'm going to attach this to it. And I, I have sort of like this moss green for the background, for the, the body of this thing. But since it's called a turtle love, I have to make it into the shape of a heart. The body is actually going to be the shape of a heart. With the fins and the Fins coming off of this. I'm glad that you have ha finally got a chance to see me doing it live. Okay, let's give it this color for the fins and the head. I have no clue what it is. But I think it will be the perfect color for it. Here comes the one of the front fins. Here comes the other front fin. Now I'm going to put the head on right in the middle of this bump of the middle of the heart there there we go there we 
go. Uh, eyes. Let's give it some blue eyes. One there. And one there. Most people look for the eyes on the animals that I make for some reason. The windows to the soul. As it were. up this is going to be the loop where the for the pendant itself now I just curl that over touch it to seal that in now let's do the back half of this guy cold weld there I'm going to stretch him out a little bit too. He needs just a little bit of stretching. Not a lot, just a little. If you have a request that you'd like to see me make, Katie, now's the time. Just ask and I'll see what I can do about making it for you real quick so you can see it. But if you want to buy it, I'll have to charge you, you know, like triple or quadruple of what I usually charge you. What are friends for, right? Okay. Now the back fins. There's one of them. Here comes the other. I don't know if anybody else has been typing into the chat room, but I'll leave it what we've got here. Again, now if you have a request, now's the time. Cat, mouse, swan, bear, whale, snail, unicorn, dolphin, elephant. What would you like to see done, Katie? Stretching out just a little bit. we go. And we have... Where's the tweezers when you want them? Oh, there they are. They're right in front of me. I had the dichromiums on. I didn't see them. Fire polish that baby. You have one nice diachroic sea turtle. Sweet. Okay. How about a cat? Okay. Cat, it shall be. Cat laying on its back, playing with its tail, and then I'll silver fume it. I'll add some gold. It, it, it'll add. I don't know how it works, but you add silver to something, and it turns golden tone when you put it on the the, the thing. Now, first we do the body of the cat, and this is going to be just a simple, basic cat-looking cat, you know what I'm saying, but it's going to be laying on its back, playing with its tail. You know, stupid cats doing stupid things, right? Right. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Getting a little hot. There we go. Yeah. The sea turtle is a nice deal. I like it. Like I say, I call him a turtle love. 
the two things together, heart and sea turtles. Maybe you could do it on a Christmas string. Two turtle loves and a partridge in a pear tree. Right, right. I know, don't quit my night job. Okay, we have ears for this cat. Okay, I want to turn this down a little bit. Oh, I am not used to this torch lighting it and keeping it lit. There we go. Lighting it and keeping it lit. It's a, it's a different torch setup. It's, it is and it isn't at the same time, but Okay, let's give it some green eyes. There we go. Now, we got, actually, if I had my druthers, I'd be sticking to the glass. You know that. I'm just not a good business manager. Great worker, though. I learned a good deal of work. Keep at what you're doing until you're done. Here's one of the front legs. Here comes the other one. I'll put a loop on this so that it can hang from somewhere if you wanted it to be. Now, the back legs, coming up. I take pride in a lot of things too, that's, that's the difference too. I try to make it look as best I can when I'm there. I know, I say that and my table is cluttered to all get out, but Give me something to clean and I'll scrub it until it's clean. It's one of those OCDs that I do have. Talk about that. I <laughs> saw the other night on it was on a BBC show that I was watching. <laughs> they put obsessive compulsive cleaners with hoarders. <laughs> Talk about a, a mix up there. help the, the over cleaners to the under cleaners <laughs> there we go there we are oh come on come on there we are okay Almost there. I'm 
also going to put a flat spot on the back so that if you ever wanted to just let it sit there, it can. There we go. Now the tail. And then we're going to fume it with silver. Oops. Not a major oops, a minor one. Cold well at the top of the head there. And time for the tail. And then I'll do that silver fuming thing that I was telling you about. There we go. I know, a little bit longer tail than what should be, but helps him to play with his tail. And now the silver fuming. This will be a really cool kicker. You can see the color that it is, a nice clear shine going on. As a matter of fact, I'll, uh, no, you can see it real quick like that, okay. Now, and then, and then, and then, and then, once I get the color, the silver going here, okay, I am going to there we are, got to get it just right. Oops. There we go. Warm this in a little bit. And then I'm going to bathe what's on this piece of glass, which is some silver, onto the cap. And it should work. Oh, yeah. Never have figured out why it turns gold tone, but... It does the job in a short amount of time. Ours is not to ask the question why, but to do or die sometimes, right? Here we are. Now I'm going to, ooh, that's right, dang it, I forgot one minor detail. I'm going to put a loop on his tail so you can hang him. Hang him, yeah, that's it. that that doesn't collapse in on itself. There we are. And we have one cat laying on its back playing with its tail. Yeah, there we go. Cool, cool, and extra cool, right? And let me show you... Oh, here's the wider side of this. You can see that it has a nice yellow tone to it right now, which is cool. And a nice shine. Uh, a, almost a glossier shine. Well, with that, 
I think I've come to the end of my time on on live. I'm gonna shut off. I keep these. Love it, love it. Yeah. Okay. And with that, Carpe Vitro, and also enjoy your day.